three series wins in a row for my boys. Yes. I hope they keep this energy going, man, so I can still be happy. You know what I'm talking about? Welcome back to Eddie B TV. I am, of course, Eddie B. Nice to see y'all. And we are back at you again today for another reaction video and uh, a new week of stand-up. As you can clearly see, we on a Monday and uh, we back at it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, man, I was a little burnt out, a little tired yesterday after doing four videos in one day. I think that's the first time I've ever done that. But uh, yeah, man, we back at it, man. I gotta keep coming at y'all with the laughs one more time. So yeah, we're gonna get into someone that I haven't gotten to before since we've been doing the channel. And uh, we're gonna get into some Bill Bellamy today. All right, well, I really like Bill Bellamy, man. He's always been a funny dude to me. Um, my favorite thing that I've ever seen him in was uh, Def Jam's How to Be a Player. Uh, one of the funniest, one of the funniest movies I've ever seen, man. It's an all-time favorite of mine. And uh, of course, everyone knows him from things like Def Comedy Jam, and he's been on. Uh, he even played on that movie uh, Any Given Sunday, and uh, you know he's just been all over the place, man. Real funny dude. It's weird that I haven't caught too much of his stand-up over the years, though. I think he has, like, a few specials. I've only caught, like, one of them, and I uh, haven't seen it in a while. I didn't even see the whole thing. But, yeah, we're going to get into one from Bill Bellamy today. And uh, this one is going to be titled, oh, okay, Sex Chat Rooms, Miss Kitty, and Applejack Milk. Okay, I don't know what the hell that means. <laughs> but, yeah, we're going to figure it out now. Bill Bellamy, man, he has like good, uh, he has like a good mixture of clean cut and um, and um, and profane material that I've that I've become accustomed to, um, like movies and stuff like that. But he's a very funny dude, like I said, man. And um, it's kind of weirded me out that after an entire year of doing this, man, it's my first time getting to him. But yeah, man, hey, don't matter, man. Better late than never, like I always say. And uh, we're gonna get into it. So let's go ahead and do it. Bill Bellamy uh, with the uh, sex chat rooms, Miss Kitty and Applejack Milk. And if you like this reaction, please boom on the like button for me one time. Uh, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell. And of course, uh, leave a nice comment for your boy, you know? Constructive critiques, leave a nice suggestion or request. And uh, throw a couple zingers at me, you know? Friendly dialogue, no drama here. And uh, let's keep it that way, if you please. And uh, yeah, let's keep having fun. So um, yeah, first time getting to Bill Bellamy today. Uh, just like I said, he's one of my favorite people, man. Um, I haven't really got to see so much of him lately. I don't even know what he's up to these days. But uh, yeah, man, I want to see what he's talking about with this one because I need to get hip to some of the stand-up that he's done that I haven't seen before. So let's go ahead and do it. Bill Bellamy with the Sex Chat Rooms, Miss Kitty, and Applejack Milk. <laughs> oh, God, that's funny already. Right here on Eddie BTV, New Week of Stand-Up, y'all. Let's get down to it. All right, let's get situated here, and here we go. I'm gonna tell you something right now, what I just do not understand. I wanna share this with y'all right now. I just recently found out that I was kind of freaky. And I'm gonna be honest with you. How many people here know they're a freak? Anybody else? Mm. This guy. You know, you know how I knew I was a freak? The internet, the internet would make you realize uh. you are a freak. Seriously, anybody ever been to a sex chat room? Yeah, Okay, I'm the only one with a computer, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, my bad. I have, yeah. I suggest everybody go to a sex chat room one time so you see what I'm talking about. Because if you are a freak like me, you ever want to know where your freak at, you know what I'm saying? Do you ever just think about where is my freak, you know? You want to either be here or there in the freak pool. You don't want to be a weak freak. You want to be at the top of the freak game. <laughs> <laughs> now, here's the cool thing. All you got to do is go to a sex chat room. You in your house. You good. Get on the computer and read. It's amazing what freaky people are doing right now. That's now, real. I like to sit in the dark. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> I like the All you got to do is get you a notepad. It's amazing what people are talking about, right? I'm sitting there, and you don't even realize you're getting turned on. I'm like, oh. Oh, OK. Ooh, you're nasty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Like, ooh, how y'all do that? That's nice. Mm -hmm. oh, I can't do that. Mm -hmm. And they be talking about wow shit too. You be like, oh. oh. <laughs> Look at his face. Oh, y'all doing orgies? Wow. Yeah. Fifteen people. Ooh. Oh, nah, that's nasty. 
Yep, that's nasty. Uh, I'm gonna try three, that's nice. <laughs> now you reading, right? And you getting turned on, but you know, you kind of nervous. You want to type in some shit. But what if somebody know you in there? Somebody from your job, you know what I'm talking about? Oh, it Somebody from your church, you know they freaky. <laughs> yeah, the church ones, those are the ones you gotta watch. <laughs> Damn. But here's the crazy thing. There are like 80 people in there, 80 real mm. freaks. I'm just fucking around, right? So I was like, yo, what's up, everybody? I didn't know. I did not know you gotta have a screen name. So they was like, True. who are you? I was like, shit. <laughs> I don't know who I am. <laughs> so I'm like, yo, who wanna play with me tonight? Immediately, remember I told you, no matter how freaky you are, there's somebody on the other end of that computer that's freakier than you. Yep, that's true. Like, who wanna play with me tonight? Oh. Who are you, Sin? I said, oh shit. <laughs> who am I? <laughs> Cause you need a screen name, so I went, deep inside my freak. I came back with this. Uh -oh. It's like, uh, what's up, everybody? This is Cat Daddy. <laughs> Cat Daddy. You want to play with me tonight? Cat Daddy, and Immediately, huh? somebody type back, oh my God, Cat Daddy, welcome to the chat room. I miss the kitty. Meow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> meow. 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 I swear to God, I heard that. <laughs> But Miss Kitty is a real freak. She's like, Cat Daddy, I'm so wet. Oh. What do you want to do to me tonight? Oh. I'm like, bitch, I don't know. Oh, man. Come on, Bill, what you got, bro? I ain't never been in no chat room before. <laughs> it's real freaks in there. That's real. So I had to go deep, deep inside my freak, and I'm going to share this with y'all. Uh-oh, what do you do? I was like, Miss Kitty, you ever had a man uh -huh. take some warm hot butter popcorn oil? Oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Pull it down your back. Oh. And let the popcorn fall on your booty crack. Sit. What? Popcorn in the back, huh? <laughs> how about, how about, how? <laughs> I don't even know where that came from. Oh, okay, I figured. I but figured. you know what? The chat room went crazy. They was like, who's Cat Daddy? Oh my God, OMG. Uh oh. <laughs> Cat Daddy is crazy, so Miss Kitty came right back. She's like, oh my God, Cat Daddy, hot butter popcorn oil all over my booty. You're so sexy. <laughs> but I gotta be honest, I like margarine in my booty. Set. Margarine? Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> I can't believe it's not butter. Now, get this, Miss Kitty turned on, she's like, oh my God, Cat Daddy, what's next? Got me so hot. Ooh. I'm like, bitch, that's all I got. I ain't. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. I ain't no real freak. Oh, man. Now I got 80 people in the chat room that think that Cat Daddy is a beast, so they all leaning on me. That's a lot of pressure. Ooh. I'm sitting in the dark for about a half hour. Half hour? Come on, bro. <laughs> Come up with something, man. They're like, Cat Daddy, are you still online? I'm like, wait. <laughs> He got goofy looks on his face, So too. I came back with a masterpiece, and I'm going to share it with y'all, because y'all my people. All right, all right, all I right. I said, uh, Miss Kitty, I'm back, baby. Oh. Sorry for the delay. Uh-oh. But have you ever had a man lay you on a comforter, on your belly, mm. take a small pillow, place that under your stomach, get that ass real high? Uh-oh. Then I'm gonna take a whole bowl of Applejack milk. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, what does this mean? Fuck y'all, it's my fantasy. Okay, okay, my bad. I'm judging. I'm judging. <laughs> <laughs> Shh. Okay, my bad, my bad. I'm cool. You ever had a man <laughs> take a whole bowl of Applejack milk? Oh, man. Pour it down your back. Uh -oh. Let the little nuggets fall on your booty crack. Sin. What's up with What's up Don't you know, I don't know where that came from. I set the chat room on fire. Everybody's like, Applejack milk, Google that shit. <laughs> I was about to Google it. <laughs> WTF-OMG, Cat uh -oh. Daddy is fucking beast. Uh-oh. 
Miss Kitty's so turned on. She's like, oh my God, can't daddy really? I will check milk all over my booty. <laughs> but I gotta be honest, I like Frosted Flakes, daddy. Frosted Flakes. But here's my address. I wanna see you tomorrow, and you better bring your Applejack milk sin. Oh. Frosted Flakes. They're great. Oh, shit, what I'm gonna do? <laughs> now, you a regular freak. She's a super freak. Out of curiosity, you want to meet her just to see if it's real. Next day, you wake up, you go to Costco, you get you a box of Apple Jacks this fucking big. <laughs> they do got that at Because you going in, uh -oh. you show up on time, 3 o'clock. You don't even realize you look crazy than a motherfucker walking around with this big box of Apple Jacks. <laughs> you ring the doorbell, you're like, boom, boom. Looking through the window, shit. Ah, oh, this is a nice house. Damn, looking like a stalker. She come to the door. She is the finest woman you ever seen. Oh. You're like, oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, are you, uh, are you Miss Kitty? Yes, I am. Mm. Are you Cat Daddy? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he is. Are you really gonna take that Applejack milk and pour it down my booty? Mm. Yes, I am. Oh. oh, yeah. Do you hear that comfort I told you about? Yes. It's upstairs. So you go upstairs, you are excited, you're like, yeah. Uh oh. So you walk into the bedroom, you know, you see the comforter, you see the nice little down pillow and out the closet. <laughs> Welcome to Dateline, I'm Chris Hansen. What the hell? Party foul. <laughs> oh Why is there so many people in here? Oh, I don't know. Have you seen my show to catch a predator? Oh. No. Hey, aren't you Bill Bellamy? No, I'm Chris Rock. This is my boy. <laughs> oh, that was good. Oh. Oh my goodness, man. That dude's a fool for that one. <laughs> How all that go end with Chris Hansen coming out the door? That is just off. Oh. But you know what? In real life, though, yeah, I don't think Bill Bellamy would have got caught up, you know? He didn't mention any age chat going on in them sex chat rooms. But yeah, that's a whole nother issue right there. All right, man. That was uh, Bill Bellamy, y'all, with uh, sex chat rooms, Miss Kitty, and <laughs> Apple Jack Milk. <laughs> Now I know what that's about. Oh my goodness, he a fool. Well, uh, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I mean, I do, but I don't know if I should go there, but I am because I just don't care. But <laughs> anyway, um, to unpack a little bit, yes, I have been in a few sex chat rooms in my life. Um, uh, talk about being freaky. Yes, I'm, um, I'm a large freak, man. I don't, I just... I'm not really sure where the cutoff point is because I haven't really fully explored that part of my, you know, my heart, my brain, my desires, whatever you want to call them. But um, yeah, man, I got some things that I dabble in, you know. Oh, who, who knows? Maybe one day I can have some other things fulfilled in some kind of way. Don't know if it will happen, but hey, man, we still got some time left in this thing we call life. But uh, yeah, sex chat rooms are very weird, man. They, they are. I'll say that much. Because he is right, though. A lot of people be saying some outlandish shit in these chat rooms, man. And some things catch you off guard because you're just thinking, okay, you're just saying this stuff for shock value, right? But no, some people really be about it, man. That You know, some people be like, um, I was in one room. I've been uh, quite a few of them. But you know what? One of them was like, yeah, man, well, we were only... I lived in um, um, I lived in New Hampshire. This person lived in New Mexico, and then you know we ended up meeting up. And then next thing you know, we had all kinds of freaky good times. We took pictures and everything. They go back to their respective homes. Next thing you know, they're back on the chat room saying this was us. And I'm like, oh, they wasn't lying. <laughs> they really into that freaky shit right there. But uh, you know, <clears throat> it, I guess um, I'm into this kind of stuff for one reason because I've always been a shy guy, you know. And what I mean by shy is I'm not shy to be myself, but at the same time, uh, but uh, first introductions 
are the most nerve wracking thing in the world to me. You know, I never really approach females like in any open area, nothing like that. It usually I have to get set up in some kind of way. Because one thing about me is, is that um, I used to get dissed a lot by the ladies. You know, uh, everyone always used to tell me that, you know, the only thing that the worst thing they could say is no, go introduce yourself and you'll see what you can you know, go holla at it, get, get a phone number or something. And I'm not lying to y'all. Out of like maybe, if I were to say it happened like maybe 20 or 30 times, I must have got dissed about 20 or 30 times. <laughs> you know, once once or twice I probably had that go smoothly, but too, too few and far in between to actually uh, take the risk on that all the time. So early on in my life, <clears throat> I started getting into like, you know, little telephone chat lines and stuff like that because I could talk up a storm because if this don't work out, you think I'm crazy. I can just hang up the phone. I don't got to see the expression on your face and I don't even got to hear, see from you ever again. So it's kind of like a win-win for me. But, um, you know, I just, um, I, 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 I got more comfortable with myself over time and then I just started, you know, branching out, doing a lot of extra stuff, you know, found out that I was pretty freaky my damn self. And so, yeah, you want to attack that, you know what I mean? You want to see what's up with that. You want to see who's down with you. So yeah, sex chat rooms are pretty cool. You know, they can become a little crazy. So, you know, know when to pull back if uh, shit get a little too real, you know, or too crazy for you. But uh, yeah, it can be very fun. So don't discourage it. Be open-minded. If you got some time, go ahead and check it out. You might like what you come up with. But, um... <clears throat> But no, I'm not going to tell you any of the screen names or any of the nicknames I gave myself on these sex chat rooms or any phone chat lines or nothing like that. Those are not embarrassing to me. It's just that I don't really feel like hearing all the comments, you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, to hear Miss Kitty for a female, that's a pretty decent screen name for a sex chat room, I guess. Um, I've seen all kinds of weird ones too, you know, some of them get really explicit, but uh, I think um, stuff like this comes with the, uh, a comfort that you're not really able to express face to face upon first introduction, you know, because obviously when you first meet somebody, if you're a female, you don't want to do it in your face talking about freaky shit all the time, yeah, because that'll probably turn them off. You know, very few, you know, might actually surprise you and probably become more freakier than you on first introduction, but you know, hey, let's pump our brakes and let's pace ourselves here for the most part. But, um, yeah, man, like, um, stuff like this, you know, it helped me come out of my shell a little bit, you know, and, uh, you know, now, I mean, I still don't like approaching, like, if I was single right now, and me and my lady weren't together, I still wouldn't approach a woman like that, because now it's not just being shy and being worried about being rejected, you gotta get worried about getting caught up in all kinds of ca uh, cases you can catch, you know, <clears throat> it's not all women that are doing that, but, you know, still, it's a, it's a big risk, so, yeah, I kind of still pump my brakes on that. But uh, yeah, man, a uh, very freaky dude right here, man. I'm not trying to call out any, you know, body to like, you know, indulge me in nothing. I'm just saying that's what I'm about, you know. And um, I found out when I did become more and more comfortable with it, you know, I had a lot more fun and I was actually, I was actually able to be more myself than I ever thought I could be, you know, because like the introduction part over, you know, the computer or the phone and all that. It helped me a lot because, uh, you know, C-Dab, the CEO, even tried to help me out a little bit. Like, yo, man, Eddie B, go holla at her. You know what I'm like? Nope. Because <laughs> all she got to do is say one thing that's messed up and <clears throat> it's going to throw me into a bad place. And a couple of times, I actually had the urge to, like, you know, go there, you know, because females got really harsh, man. They got really, really mean, you know. But um, uh, just to give you one quick story, man, um, we were, I was at the mall here in Tacoma, the Tacoma Mall, a long time ago. <laughs> Me and my boy, uh, uh, well, C Dab, the CEO, was with me and all that. He's like, "Go holler at him. I'm gonna go check out these shoes real quick." And I go, it was a group of females, four females at a table, right? And me, I took a big risk, and I was like, I walked up to the one that I wanted to talk to. I was like, "Excuse me, you know, um, you know, my name is such and such," and I was like, uh, "I was just um, seeing you from over there, and I start come, you know, talk to you, say hello, you know, and uh, what's your name?" And then. Um, Nothing in my favor went down at all, man. Like from the moment I went up there, they were looking at each other, like giggling and laughing at me. And at first I thought maybe it was like a shy thing. Maybe they're gonna be nice to me. No, they were all incredibly rude, mean bitches, man. <laughs> they really were. One female uh, looked at me and said like, um, 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 no. And in fact, can you like go away because you're kind of making us feel uncomfortable? Like, why would you even think you had a shot? And then I'm just standing there like I'm frozen a little bit because like I'm in that area where I'm like, uh, do I just walk away? Am I about to piss myself? I don't know, man. I was just, I was so thrown off about how rude they were. 
that um, the last emotion that kicked in was rage, man. And I was getting ready to like, you know, grab the table and swing it around or something like that. But then see Dev, the CEO was right there and I just saw him and I was just like, I'm gonna go. <laughs> and I walked away. He asked me what happened. I just said, don't ever ask me to do that again. <laughs> and I haven't done it since, you know what I mean? Um, well, actually, you know, a couple of times, like I said, only a couple of times it actually worked in my favor, but actually I, I was still on pins and needles and still really shy as hell. But uh, fortunately for those couple of instances, it worked out and we actually had a good time. But uh, as far as the last thing, the Applejack milk, now, <laughs> okay, that's funny, okay? Because when you talk about being a freak, man, being a freak doesn't always necessarily mean what you think it means. It could be like, you know, a long, drawn out um, thing of foreplay that could lead up to the to the to the big deed, you know. But um, he's talking about uh, popcorn oil. She's talking about margarine. <laughs> she, he's talking about apple checks, and she's talking about Tony the Tiger and Frosted Flakes. That was just too funny, man. But um, the last part. Oh my goodness, man. Wouldn't that be some nonsense if you in a sex chat room and then you get all this chatting and then, oh, let's meet up and then Chris Hansen from Dateline show up? No, that's not cool right there. But um, <clears throat> to anyone who haven't seen that show, it's a cringe-worthy show, man. But uh, yeah, man, uh, as long as those guys go down for what they've done, sick, twisted, those aren't even freaks, man. Those are just perverted rapists and molesters and all kinds of just like twisted stuff that needs to get a bullet put in their head, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, man, it's just a little insight, you know, to uh, who I am as a person. You know, when I first saw this title, I was thinking, okay, maybe I might have something to chime in with about this, you know, because Bill Bellamy, like I said, he's one of my favorite people, man. But sometimes when I'm watching a bit or listening to a song or whatever, I always can't link with it. I just give an opinion and then, you know, lights out on the reaction. But, you know, this is like a good video, you know. He's a really funny dude, man. He uh, pointed some things out from my past that kind of, you know, rang up here a little bit. And um, it, it brought me back to a time when life wasn't so good and how I had to evolve into becoming something a lot more comfortable with the opposite sex, you know. But uh, yeah, man, whatever y'all freak level is, whatever your shyness level is, if you can fix it, fix it. If not, then, you know, find a nice solid remedy for it, you know, because, you know, um, this whole thing called, you know, romance and uh, hookups and relationships and flings and whatever you want to call them, man, they can be uh, quite confusing if you don't know exactly how to uh, approach the situation. That was always my big problem. But yeah, man, a very funny bit from Bill Bellamy, man. I had a, a lot of fun getting to it, but now it's time to cut it short. So yeah, man, one more time. Bill Bellamy uh, with the sex chat rooms, Miss Kitty and Applejack Milk. And if you like that reaction, please boom on the like button for me one more time. Uh, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and of course, leave a nice comment for your boy. You know what I'm saying? Constructive critiques, leave a nice suggestion or request, and of course, as always, uh, you know, throw a couple singers at me, you know? Friendly dialogue, no drama here, and uh, that's what I'm all about on this channel. And hopefully you guys, uh, you know, keep my little message going. You understand what I'm talking about? So yeah, this is gonna be Eddie BTV signing off here one more again. Um, a new start to the stand-up week, and I uh, was able to get to somebody new. And uh, I don't know um, what this special is. I gotta, I gotta probably look it up one day. I might wanna react to a couple more uh, clips from this if they have them. But uh, this one was really good, you know. Um, Bill Bellamy, man, he's funny in all the movies and all the stuff that I've seen him in. But with stand-up, you know, sometimes I forget that there are stand-up comedians that ended up becoming really successful actors and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden, I lose track of some of the stand-up they did, you know. And that's unfortunate, you know. But yeah, I'm trying to get back to where, you know, I can pick up, you know, some things that I might have missed out on, you know, forever ago. But yeah, very funny clip from Bill Bellamy, man. And I was uh, glad to get to it. If you guys got anything from Bill Bellamy that you guys like and that you would like me to see, please leave them in the comments. You know, provide me with some links and some descriptions. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we come up with for the future so yeah man thank y'all for tuning in uh one more time like i said man it was really fun getting to bill bellamy for the first time man one of my favorite people like i said and uh, if you guys get a chance check out some of the things he's been in if you haven't seen def jams how to be a player check that one out it's a funny ass movie and uh gilbert gottfried actually has um has a role in that movie a small one but he's in it uh who else is in it uh bernie mac is in it um I think um, that light skin do a comedian, Pierre. I think he's in it too. Uh, let me see if I can name a couple other people that were in it. Um, oh yeah, uh, Lark Voorhees, she's in it. The girl who played Lisa Turtle on Saved by the Bell, she's in it. 
And uh, let me see, who else can I name? One more person. Let me see, who can I name? Uh, uh, one more. Who is it? I don't know. Yeah, somebody else is in there somewhere. I can't think of any more names, but still, a very funny movie. And if you guys want to check it out, check it out. Very funny movie. So, yeah, man, uh, thank y'all for tuning in one more time, like I said. And uh, until next reaction, love and appreciate y'all. Peace.